hello and very warm welcome to the channel in today's video we will learn about how to use ui refresh control with ui table for your introduction you are you show the refresh controls for this is the table view when i pull it down you can see this indicator this is pull to refresh feature used in many apps so this is the ui refresh control so what it does it automatically checks for the new updates available so we will learn today how to use this or how to implement UI refresh control in UI table view. So let's start. Open up your Xcode and create a single view application template project. I already created one for myself with the name UI refresh control suit for tutorial. So you can create one for yourself. And if you are done, then let's start the designing part. Okay. Open main dot storyboard. And here, first of all, we will change the background color to the yellow one the favorite one and drag a ui table view okay here ui table view is there and then what we will do we will give it a constraint 0 0 0 0 okay here it is zero constraints and now I need to create an IB outlet for the same so let's create one and here we select our UI table view go here and new referencing outlet here it is and we will drag and drop and create TBL list for example and connect so this IB outlet is done now it's time to do some coding part and so let me make it this way and move this thing and then open view controller dot swift and now let's move it now we have table tbl list so first of all we will create an array where we say title array and it will be of type string and here it is is equals to array and here we go so now we need to create cell for our table view so first of all we will say table list dot table footer view is equals to ui view dot init with frame dot zero and tbl list dot data source is equals to self so here it is now we will implement the data source method so here ui table view data source and uh, let's implement those here ui table view data source and here is a table view number of rows in section and here we will return return title array dot count and then table view cell for row at index path and here it is so here say let cell or uh, let not where where cell is equals to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier say say list cell and then if cell is not equals to nil or not not is equals to nil then we will allocate a cell so cell is equals to ui table view cell and here we have style dot default and reusable identifier will be our this the same list cell okay here we go and here we will say return cell okay also we will get cell dot text label dot text is equals to whatever the text of our title array contains so index path dot row and let us add few elements to the title array dot append like swift title array dot append append and they say objective c and now 
let's run the app to see if it's working so here we need to unwrap it so because it's optional so now it's need, the cell requires a particular UI table cell so we need to unwrap it and now let's run the app on iPhone 10 simulator and I am building the app right now so it's built succeeded so hopefully we uh, successfully return the code to display our table and it's launched in iPhone 10 simulator so here you can see the two rows Swift and Objective C now here what whenever I pull nothing happens so now I need to add the reference control so for this I will say function and here is a add a refresh control and parameter will be nil because I declared that as a global variable table view now here I need to declare where refresh control is of type UI refresh control okay now here I will allocate it refresh control refresh control I write it here R is missing sorry refresh control okay 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 refresh control is equals to UI refresh control and here we have so we'll say refresh control dot dot tint color is equals to we will say UI color dot red okay for the time being and then we add TBL mm, here we have TBL list okay so TBL list dot add sub view we say refresh control and also what we do we need a add to target refresh control dot add target self selector will be has selector and here we need to title selector refresh list and for intro dot value changed and here we need to fix it by this and now we write obgc function and here we say refresh list and then what we do is a tv or we say refresh control dot start uh, not refresh control sorry we will add our array and uh, we say but the error name is title array so here it say we need to fix it so here unwrap it title array dot append oops append new element here we say kotlin and title array dot append new element is the java and here we say refresh control dot and refreshing okay and then what we'll do we will do tbl list dot reload data and now let's see if it works or not so we are running the app building the app and it's building succeeded so now it's time to see whether our refresh control works or not so here we have two element let me pull it down and nothing happens why because I didn't add the refresh control so here add refresh control and then again run the app because I didn't call the method add refresh control that's why the refresh control is not added to the table view and now it's added and now our app is running on iPhone 10 simulator and here you can see it's running and it's adding here you can see whenever I pull it down the java kotlin java is added so let me run it again and let's see whether it's working fine or not 
so here right now we have swift and objective c so when i pull and here it is so kotlin java and when i pull it again kotlin java so when i pull it again it's kotlin java and complete kotlin java oops so hits kotlin java again and again and again so this is a very small tutorial where you learn how to add ui to fresh control to your table and how to uh, use the feature where the list is getting refreshed whenever you scroll down the table view so there is simple step there is control you are refresh control then you have to create it and then you can add it to your table view as a sub view and then you can assign a selector or target to your refresh control with the event value changed and when this target selector gets called then you can do whatever when you want to hit the API and this line that is tight refresh control and refreshing and table list uh, reload data will be written if you are hitting an api when you get first response then you can end the refresh control and refreshing method called it and also load your table view so this is a very simple tutorial if you like it then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are going to publish more videos in coming weeks regarding ios development using swift and if you have any requests then please do comment and we will try to make the make a video for the same so thanks for watching and have a nice time